Yep guys, welcome to my channel. It's your own Xblade. And in today's video, I will show you how you can make this effect in Prisma 3D like the metal cutting particle if effect. So let's start with the spear here and you have to add a glow effect on the spear. So how to glow any object in Prisma 3D? You just have to go to reflection and set specular at minus 10. So let's set it in minus 10 and you have to add a light to show the glow effect and here let's add an animation on the spear i will make a 10 second animation so in 10 second it will be go here and we have to copy the animation and paste it in each 10 second so let's change it to 9 frames and then add another frame in 10 and now let's copy the animation and paste it on 10 so let's paste it I'll paste it until I get 100 frames and then I'll copy the whole 100 frame and then paste it three times so two times so I'll get the 300 frames which is which means 10 second so here we have reached the 100 frames we have to now copy the whole animation and let's copy it where's the copy button here and now paste it then paste it again okay so 100 frame is done now we have to go to frame 0 now copy your sphere one time and from the copied sphere select the whole animation I have to select the whole animation again so let's select the whole animation and copy it and delete it and now copy your sphere as we are making a 10 second animation so I will need the 5 I will need 5 sphere for each 2 frames so I have to copy it again so in sphere 1 I will paste the animation in frame 2 in sphere 2 i'll paste it in sphere 4 in sphere 3 i'll paste it in sphere uh, like frame 6 and in sphere 8 i'll paste the animation in frame 8 and in sphere and for the frame 10 here our animation in repeat itself so repeats itself so we don't have to do that and here if i play the animation you, you will not see any difference because they are all the following the same way so so here you have to group all the spheres individually so let's group them all and now you have to change the shape or the rotation or direction for each sphere individually just change all the groups as you want and change the rotation Now let's play the animation you can see the particle particle effect and now group the whole group all groups and now expand it like this and you can copy it also and copy it and rotate and shrink or expand it more and also change the rotation you can copy the book them both again and change the rotation for them too and change their shape so now if i play the animation here you can see how it works let me just change the size for each group a little bit more so this is how it works and just a little bit more okay so let me change the like here you won't see anything so let me change the here now you can see it nicely so 
it's working quite good and this is how we, and this is how you can make particle effects in prisma 3d for the metal cutting effect and if you like the video you know what to do and we will meet again in next video bye